Entertainment Luxury Tupac Shakur Born Lassane Parish Crooks on June 16, 1971, and passing away on September 13, 1996, Tupac Amaru Shakur was an American rapper and actor better known by his stage name Tupac and later by his identity Machiavelli. Shakur is one of the best-selling musicians, having sold more than 75 million records worldwide, and is regarded as one of the most influential rappers of all time. Shakur is seen as a symbol of activism against inequality, and much of his music has been praised for addressing current socioeconomic issues that affected inner cities. Today we'll be taking a look at the top 8 luxury buys of Tupac Shakur. Number 1 Fashion Shakur was a trailblazer despite what you thought of him, influencing the growing popularity of everything from Carhartt denim to Timberland boots. Shakur opened the path for the relationship between fashion and rap that would see hip-hop singers become the faces of high-end companies. Johnny Versace invited him to perform California Love at the Milan Fashion Week while dressed in one of the designer's golden suits. Shakur developed a look that has endured the test of time even without glitz and expensive goods. His signature attire included a backward bandana knotted around his head, a baggy sweat suit by Carl Connie, bucket hats, sweatshirts, work boots, and sports jerseys, all of which are still fashionable today. The item's timeless quality attests to a pioneer's continuing influence as well as to his or her foresight. Rihanna having her own thug life tattoo or Justin Bieber wearing a Tupac concert t-shirt underneath one of his Fear of God pieces demonstrate how highly the younger generation still holds Asada Shakur in regard. Shakur will continue to have a significant impact for years to come as a symbol of not just style but also of truth, revolt, and the power of music. Number 2 Tattoos Numerous pictures exist of the tattooed Shakur performing shirtless. Since Shocker's passing, his tattoos have gained notoriety, and one of the most popular copies is the Thug Life design that was inked across his torso, just below his pectorals. Shakur got that tattoo in 1992 in Houston at Dago's Tattoo, where the owner Dennis Dago Qualo was also the artist. It has been referred to as one of the most well-known tattoos in music history and unquestionably the most well-known in hip-hop. Some claim that Shakur gave tattoos a cool vibe in the rap world. Incidentally, the I in life is a bullet. The tattoo shop can be found at the 5100 block of the I-45 North, at Dagos, Shakur had at least 8 tattoos done there in his lifetime. Number 3 1996 Hummer H1, the car, which has an automated transmission and a 6.5-liter turbo diesel V8 engine, was personally customized by Shakur. Off-road lighting, a 360-degree spotlight, a grill protector, PA system, three sirens, and diamond-plated are some of the features of the enormous Hummer. The burlwood trim and beige leather upholstery in the cabin are accented with a 12-disc clarion sound system, a Sony GPS, and a central tire inflation system. According to Boston-based RR Auction, it sold for $337,114 at auction. An unnamed Midwesterner who is a lover of Tupac and a collector won the auction. Number 4 Gold Diamond Ring Tupac Shakur made no apologies for his gang affiliations, which were proudly shown in front of the cameras. Tupac proudly sported a range of enormous jewelry items, some of which unmistakably revealed the story of his personal relationships, much like other musicians who were popular in the early 1990s. The acronym MOB stood for member of blood and was occasionally talked down to mean money over b cheese but all of tupac's supporters were well aware of the ring's murky history tupac frequently wore his ring on his pinky finger and it was considered to be an important statement item for people who were associated with death row records snoop dogg and suge knight both sported that mob ring despite snoop dogg having associations with the crips one of Tupac Shocker's most recognizable pieces of jewelry that he frequently wore was the M.O.B. Number 5, Woodland Hills, Home. Shakur famously inhabited this California home in 1995-96, after he was released from a stint in prison, and he lived there until his tragic death. The adorable pad is a rapper's dream, the opulent property has reportedly undergone two ownership changes since then. 
According to property records, the present owners paid DJ Lethal, a former member of Limp Biscuit and House of Pain, $1.275 million for the house in 2003. Shakur was allegedly in escrow to buy the house at the time of his murder, but he never got to truly own it. And ever since the California Love musician walked the six bedroom, five bathrooms homes halls in the mid 1990s. Four of the bedrooms are located upstairs and have Jack and Jill bathrooms. One of those four bedrooms is the roomy master suite. The master bedroom has a private sitting space, three walk in closets, a bespoke fireplace with wood mantle, and a master bathroom with two steamers and a deep jacuzzi tub. Number 6 Shakespeare Poems Some individuals might be surprised to learn that the rapper was greatly influenced by William Shakespeare. When he was a student at the Baltimore School for the Arts, he studied the English author and says, it influences all my work. I really like stuff like Les Miserables and Gospel at Colonus. And I love Shakespeare. He wrote some of the rawest stories, man. I mean look at Romeo and Juliet. That's some serious ghetto s word. You got this guy Romeo from the Bloods who falls for Juliet, a female from the Crips, and everybody in both gangs are against them. So they have to sneak out and they end up dead for nothing. Real tragic stuff. Number 7 British Music, beyond the gangster rap genre, where he first gained notoriety, hip-hop artist Tupac Shakur had a wide range of musical preferences. British singer Kate Bush, Irish rock band U2, and Irish singer-songwriter Sinead O'Connor were some of Tupac Shakur's favorite musicians of this era, according to Golas. He also adored the music of the Boy George-led British New Wave band Culture Club. His favorite tune outside of the rap genre was the Les Miserables Broadway show's theme. These musicians don't remotely resemble the music that Tupac would create on his own, but U2 in particular explored many of the same social justice topics from an Irish viewpoint. Number 8 Professional Acting Tupac the actor had many qualities with Tupac the musician, including being passionate, sincere, talented, and a little hot-headed. He had training as well. At age 12, he joined the 127th Street Ensemble in Harlem and performed in A Raisin in the Sun. He also went to the Baltimore School of the Arts after relocating to Baltimore. During his brief career, Tupac made six cinematic appearances, Juice, Poetic Justice, Over the Rim, Bullet, Gridlocked, and Gang Related. Some were purely money-grabbing opportunities. He was under others. Nonetheless, he was the brightest element in each of them. This is the end of Top 8 Luxury Buys Tupac Shakur. Make sure to tap the like button, and subscribe to see our next list. Bye for now.